Hey guys, Sema here and in this video I'm going to show you how to set up the email delivery service that you use to be able to send emails from within ClickFunnels. Um, so the way that ClickFunnels works, because it's not an email delivery service, you have to add another integration to make it able to send um, the emails. And in another video I showed you guys that um, within the crazy discount funnel, we're using automation right here to send people the voucher when they opt in. And so in order to do that, uh, you have to set up an email delivery service. Um, so what we recommend is actually called SendGrid. So you're going to go to SendGrid.com and then press sign up. And um, as you see here, send up to 40,000 emails free for 30 days. And then as long as you're 100 emails a day or less, it's free. And then as you get uh, start sending more emails, uh, it, it charges you $9.95 a month for 10000 And if you swipe this, you can see exactly how much it charges um, based off how many emails you're sending a month. But depending on how many clients you have, you probably won't be sending like a ton of vouchers. Um, so try it free. And then you're going to make a username. And I'm just going to make fake stuff for the example. And then press create an account. And then you can fill out all of this stuff. And then I don't think this stuff is super important. I think they're just doing customer research. So how do you plan to send email using marketing campaigns? They're actually using our API. And then how many emails do you plan to send per month? It's not like if you put something here, you can't change that number. Um, and then how many employees work at your company and then save. And then once you get this all set up, um, you're going to want to integrate it with ClickFunnels, which I'll show you how to do it in a second. Um, so over here, you're going to go to the drop down, then SMTP settings, and then set up email sending. Um, add existing SMTP integration. And then for here, um, I Google ClickFunnels SendGrid set up SMTP and there is an article that tells you exactly what to put in which spot. So um, scroll down here. Title, so this is the name of your integration. This is for internal reference only. So we can just call it SendGrid. Um, from name is the email or the name you want it to send from and then the email you can put right here and then this is what we grab from the other stuff so SMTP server you just copy and paste this and I'll have Dan include a link to this article so you can easily copy and paste all of this stuff and then your SendGrid username which I made Sama Urzuki123, send grid password, um, and then choose a domain. So sendgrid.net. So you paste sendgrid.net right here. And then for choose a domain, you actually have to connect your domain with ClickFunnels. So to do that, you press domains right here. And press add new domain and so if you register a new domain through ClickFunnels they technically own the domain so I don't recommend doing that um, you can add your own domain and buy one through like GoDaddy and I'm pretty sure you can buy them through Google these days um, and then do use an existing domain and then my domains already connected with ClickFunnels so I can't exactly demonstrate in this video but whatever domain you own um, you could just put it right here and then press add domain and it'll take care of that for you. And then after that you want to fill in your business address 
and then a footer if you want that's added to all outgoing emails. Um, so it says that it's required because um, for spam compliance stuff, basically allowing people to like opt out of emails or whatever. And then after that, you're just going to press save SMP, SMTP integration and then it's all set up.